Hello everyone and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty! Mama Z is here! We are back with our original Ginger Batman cookie decoration character transformation video. And today we are continuing our Disney The Little Mermaid live action 2023 inspired episodes. As you saw in the thumbnail, today we are going to transform this delicious Ginger Batman cookie into Ursula! Ursula is uh, an octopus, sea witch, she is the villain. Let's see what ingredients we will need for this transformation. Fondant, variety of gel colors as well as white frosting and with this mixture I pre-made the following colors. Super dark blue, well white color I didn't really mix, I just scooped it out of the skin and lavender very pale skin color for Ursula then we have three sparkle gel colors black green and red for her lips baking tools as well as a variety of candies we will need lots of candies today yay we also have more candies right there and icing decorations right here here's my metal tray the star of the show uh, the cookie and as I always say let's repeat it all together don't forget to protect your working space since this activity will get sticky and messy. Here is my sketch of Cookie <laughs> of Ursula. We will definitely need lots of fondant for her tentacles. Without further ado, let's transform this cookie into Ursula. Oh, by the way, Ursula is played by Melissa McCarthy in new Disney The Little Mermaid live action 2023 movie. Step 1, I am going to put the cookie aside because we will need to make her tentacles out of the fondant. Okay, so here's the fact check. Octopus has 8 arms covered in suckers. However, according to all the images I found online, Ursula has 6 tentacles. If y'all find eight, that's great. <laughs> but I was looking at all sorts of pictures, even doll version of Ursula, and I saw six. So six or eight, it's not that big of a deal. I'm making one, two, three, four, five, six semi-equal circles that I'm going to roll and transform into tentacles. And I'm turning them into cones of some sort and I'm making them a little bit squiggly and wavy like that This is a really cool picture I found online. However, I'm not going to be using this much fondant and make her tentacles this long since it's a cookie. Also, I don't have that much space on my tray, neither on my thumbnail. Next, again using fondant, I'm going to shape her hairstyle and it does not have to be perfect it's literally just going to be serving as a base because I'll be using frosting on top I think we are good with the fondant for now we can go ahead and start painting her with the frosting. Instead of starting with the bottom, as I mostly always do, I'm going to paint her face and her hands first, oh, as well as her chest. And check it out, this color is pretty much the same as my nail polish color. I try to make it pale lavender color. It's super duper light. I do think it looks a little bit darker in the camera versus the real life. Taking my tool, wait a minute, I think I'm gonna use this one. And spreading the frosting. A 
I don't have to worry about the sharp, even edges because I will be using dark blue, almost black color frosting to put her octopus body outfit on top. Talking about which, this is the color. I tried to make it super dark, but also I wanted to keep that dark blue shade. Wow, I did not realize how much frosting we will need for her, what is it, tail, octopus body, villain dress, <laughs> what do we call this part? Now before I finish the top, I actually forgot to add her collar part. So I'm going to add it right here and also add dark blue color on these two pieces of fondant. Actually this way. <laughs> I put them upside down. Okay, there we go. Now carefully I'm going to tap down the frosting not to mix the colors. And this is the tool I decided to use. Perfection, my darlings! Now, to make the surface a little bit more even, I'll be using flat knife. And on her chest, I'm going to sprinkle uh, this dark silver sugar to make it look like scales. Plus, it looks super pretty. <laughs> Another thing I want to add is a little bit of this purple sparkly sugar right on the border of her hairline. Just sprinkle a little bit in the words because we are going to be covering it with the frosting on top. But this is just gonna add some contour to her face. Okay, looking good. Next, I'm going to continue with her necklace and magical seashell amulet unfortunately i did not find any golden seashell but i'll be using these unicorn horns for the actual chain and then i think i'm going to make seashell out of these golden candies actually from the same candy jar, I'll be using the blue candies too for the suckers on her tentacles. But first, let's finish her necklace. Actually, it looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to use the blue ones for the tentacles and we'll need lots of them. Oh wow, would you look at that, I officially ran out of these candies, so I do want to add a little bit more, let me just go figure out what else I can use. Good news, I found more candies, I think these blue metallic pearly candies will work just fine. I 
I think they look super realistic. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to her face. I'm going to add her eyes. She has green color eyes and green makeup, but before I add that, I'm going to paint her lashes. And I'm using black edible marker. Adding green in the center of her eye and then adding lots of green eyeshadow. Next I'm going to add black in the center of her eye and I'll use the same black sparkle gel for her brows. I'm also going to underline her bottom lash line with my black edible marker, same on the other side. And I'll add her lashes. Next I'll use this red sparkle gel for her lips. And I'll use this purple chocolate candy for her nose. Oh, and I cannot forget about two little pearly candies for the light reflection in her eyes. Let's go ahead and finish this cookie with her hair. And I'll be using this white frosting to add her crazy hair and make it look like it's flowing under the water. She's also wearing shell earrings. Instead, I'll be using these two blue flowers. And I'll sprinkle a little bit more of this purple sugar into her hair. And here she is, Ursula from the Little Mermaid live action 2023 movie transformed into a giant gingerbread man cookie. I am literally proud of this transformation. I mean, all of the details they just look so perfect. Her tentacles, her dress, her seashell necklace, her makeup, her hair, everything looks pretty much just like in the movie. Just a little sweeter. Click the like button if you like this gingerbread man cookie transformation. And also let me know in the comments below which character would you like me to transform into gingerbread man cookie next. I just went ahead and arched her eyebrows a little bit more. So she looks a little bit more villain. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you soon, you poor unfortunate soul.